The 28th of April 1944. It was early when Eddie James and his navigator Sebastian were awoken by the duty officer. After a quick breakfast, Eddie and Sebastian were briefed on their mission for this morning. They were to take off at 0635 and head south to Normandy to spot any German naval forces off the beachheads. From there, they were then to proceed southwest past Carantan to Port Bale before turning north and heading home past Sherbrooke Harbour. Eddie is advised he is free to hunt any enemy aircraft that he comes into contact with, but at his discretion only. Good hunting. Hi everyone, welcome back. It's a beautiful morning to be up flying a patrol. And here we are, coming over the beachheads here. It does seem if there's any naval forces off the coast. It all looks pretty quiet, doesn't it? So the first point of our patrol is complete. We've arrived at the beachheads and there appears to be no enemy naval forces here. Dip a wing. And by the little islands down there, nothing. So uh, we'll turn west now, well, southwest, head over this cloud cover and uh, proceed just north of Carantan to the west coast of this um, landmass to Port Bale before we turn north and return to base past Sherbrooke Harbour, which is up there somewhere. So yeah, uh, free to engage anything that we come across. So far, so good. Nothing going on, but we'll keep our eyes peeled. Got a nice formation of bombers coming. It would be nice to try and pick off some slow moving aircraft. If there are fighters, well, if we get the advantage, we may come in and swoop, firing like hell, and then run. But uh, we'll certainly see, depending on the um, situation we find ourselves in. But for now, just sit back, enjoy the flight. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, keep our eyes peeled. Hello, hello, we've got a contact. And so we are climbing up now and it seems to be a lone aircraft. Looks like an FW190. Continue our climb. Keep an eye out for any friendly uh, any friends, Sebastian. We don't wanna yeah, uh, oh, hello. Right. Enemy aircraft up high. Let's continue to climb then. Let's move away and climb. Let's see if we can catch up with them. If they've not seen me, or they just assume I'm a Allied bomber or, spot, or observation aircraft or something like that, they haven't really. Oh yeah, they have. Now they have. Okay, here we go. Only one is peeled off, which is okay. If they're all left W190s, and we don't want to take take them all on.
I said last time this is not a dog fighting aircraft and I was uh, correcting that assumption but if there's only just one of them then we I think he's just trying to see us off was he we're not so easily scared my friend as long as your buddies don't come and play we will continue to um, annoy you Ooh, that cloud looks like a a bruise, doesn't it? All the, the pink and orange and... Check a tail to Russian, are we still clear? Yeah. Closing in. The speed of these Merlins in this beautiful wooden construction is superb. He's trying to make a run for the, the clouds. Oh, I thought I was gonna oh, gonna lose visibility of him, but I've just about got him still. So I don't have the manoeuvring ability that they do, or as a single aircraft, or sorry, a single engine fighter does. Oh, guys, watch out! That's one to ask you. Where did you see where the others went? Let's continue to climb up then. Right, it's a little bit of time later. We've come back up to 10,000 feet to see if we can... Those other fighters have long gone. Um, yeah, you can see Shawborg Harbour over there. Uh, so our, um, our patrol is to take us through that cloud to where that little um, inlet is over there. And then we head up north to Shawborg. Uh, so down here somewhere should be Carantan. Could 
should be one of these towns down here. I'm not sure which. But yeah, um, no other aircraft spotted. I think the, the others have managed to get away. That one 190 was sent back to distract us or run interference so the rest of them could keep going on to whatever their mission was. So disappointingly we only got one but hey it's still another kill to our um, tally isn't it and we're still alive which is another good thing. Uh, you never know there may be some targets over here. Trains, tanks, trucks, maybe even some uh, light shipping in the harbours we, we may be able to stray. Um, but yeah it's back to the Reconnaissance patrol for the time being. Let's see if we spot anything else. We got contacts behind us. Two contacts. Oh, hang on. Three over there. Five contacts. All right, Sebastian, uh, prepare yourself. I doubt they are friendly. FW oh FW 190s I didn't see that one Sebastian you okay oh no Sebastian talks to me oh god we've lost Sebastian Okay, we're, we're running. I've lost my navigator. I'm damaged. I'm leaking. I'm just going to absolutely hit the firewalls with the throttle and get out of here. Speed is the, probably the one thing that can save us. I can see some enemy gun emplacements. Um, I might just have a quick pop. As we're flying over, taking advantage of anything we see like that. Coming over to Schulberg now, Th those fighters seem to have dropped off. So I'm still going for it, but if we see any of to target some opportunity is what I'm trying to say we will try and take them any there's nothing in the ports zip over the factory then stay low just in case there's anti-aircraft fire there's bound to be some anti-aircraft guns in the area you might not want to hit the factory there
Right. We're feet wet, running for the English coast. Hi everyone. Right, there is Blighty. Uh, I'm struggling to get to it because engine 2's packed up. I think it's out of fuel. Uh, so I'm just trying to. Well, A, I want to keep at a certain altitude because if I can't. RPM is failing on that one. Hang on. It's got too much boost on it. I'm working it too hard. Right, um, yeah, we may be struggling now. Battery's not charging. <laughs> well, let's see if we can just make land. I can't turn uh, left, so we're going to have to make... Well, our base is just there. We've actually drifted off. There's the Isle of Wight. But, um, so we're heading straight for our base. Hopefully we can make it. I'm not altogether confident and may need to bail early. Oh well there we go, there's your answer. Both engines have now failed. Uh, time to get out of here. So there we go, having successfully bailed out of the stricken aircraft, Eddie James survives and manages to get transport back to home base. There he debriefs the intelligent officers and he confirms that he shot down one light aircraft, an FW-190, and we also destroyed a searchlight on our panicked chase, <laughs> or panic run out of French territory but it that doesn't take away from the sad day of losing our our comrade and our navigator Sebastian despite our grief at the passing of Sebastian Eddie James has been awarded the distinguished flying medal probably for trying to bring the aircraft home engaging the enemy in greater numbers and of course uh, trying to bring his his, his buddy, his navigator, his crew home, hoping beyond hope that he was just knocked out and, and his wounds could be treated. Sadly, it was not meant to be. But a distinguished flyer medal is something to be proud of, although it will always be tinged with the grief of Sebastian. So, coming into Eddie James's personal records then, obviously the young man is going to be absolutely downbeat after that. Uh, a wound stripe, mentioned dispatches, pilot's badge up to this point, and today the Distinguished Flying Medal. Our personal tally now stands at three aircraft kills, two transport vehicles, eight armaments, including two AAA guns and six searchlights. Um, obviously we took out a searchlight today, but mainly they are the ones we've been taking out around the, uh, the air bases which we've been attacking in the past few missions. That searchlight was obviously paired with an anti-aircraft gun around the port of Schurburg. So uh, at least if there's any Allied bombing raids heading to that port, that's one less searchlight that's going to pick out a bomber in the night sky. Heading into the squadron room, you can see um, despite the loss of Sebastian, the squadron must go on. We'll be reassigned a new navigator and radio operator uh, next time. Um, the air 
aircraft figure for the squadron is up to 73, thanks to our kill. 20 light aircraft, 21 medium, 24 heavy, 4 parked, 4 balloons. I haven't seen any balloons. I'll take the barrage balloons, are they? I assume so. 28 vehicles, 14 railroad, 44 armaments, 28 buildings, and 10 marine. Love to do a bit of submarine hunting. So here we are, five hours experience now. We've gone through our tally. Now we've still got this rookie, Gary Hemmel, who hasn't been up yet. Uh, so too, Barry Stolberg. So we've got two rookies in the squadron. Uh, and these 16 mosquitoes now. So um, two people are doing that mosquitoes, and I'm guessing it's probably the two rookies. Looking at the Royal Courier, it's... Uh, it's Dated a few days ago now. We've already looked at the 4,000 planes last invasion defences. Um, we've been all part of that, attacking those enemy airfields. And today we're doing the patrols around, trying to take out any enemy aircraft and any ground targets as well that we come across. Um, I would like to have probably had another couple of strafes at those uh, ground targets. But the uh, situation we were in, you can see we barely made the English coast as it was. So yeah, we couldn't hang about too much. But we live to fight another day. As I say, we'll get a new crew member next time. Be sure to join us to find out what mission is in store for us next time. Thanks ever so much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.